Hi, I'm Andrea Klim, and you are watching Turn to the Stars. And today is Tuesday, uh, April 5th of 2016, and we're going to be talking about that new moon in Aries that's coming in this Thursday. And I also have, for this for the second part of the show, a really special guest here, Jay Harris from Pyramid Creations. And uh, so I want to just first talk about the astrological force cast uh, because of this new moon. It's very significant because I don't think spring is truly here until we have that first new moon in the constellation of uh, Aries. And, and that is what we're having on April 7th uh, of this week. And I have a chart I'm going to put on the screen right now. And there it is. You can see it highlighted in the top left corner, which is probably right about uh, 9 o'clock on, on, a, on a clock. And you can see the sun, the moon, Uranus, and Venus, uh, four planets all lined up in the constellation of Aries. And so what does that mean to you? Okay, first off, if you're a fire sign, one of the fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, this is a wonderful time of creativity for you. It's a path for us all that we are basically busting through some really crazy barriers that have held us back from the past. And it's really important. We must all take that leap of faith. It's really important. And I'm asking anyone and all who are watching today's show, if you would just say a, a prayer for uh, a man who made a huge difference in my family's life over the course of this last year. And his name is Vito Salamini. And uh, he's having surgery today at Catholic Medical Center. And um, he's a really, really kind man. And uh, I just wanted to ask everyone who's watching to say a prayer for him because, um, you know, just support him and his family as they go through this surgery with him and that it is successful and that his heart heals most of all. And uh, so that was really important. And, you know, Aries is about the self and the self healing and that part of us, that spark of life. It's that active person or human that we each are and actually this new moon that you saw on the screen uh, in that chart um, is at 18 degrees of Aries um, and it's right beside Uranus in the constellation of Aries and um, there's this type of astrology I practice which I learned from A.T. Mann who I really truly re have a lot of respect for um, one of my astrology teachers and um, he has created something called the logarithmic time scale and actually this new moon aligns with a period in time which was 33,390 97 BC. It was a period on earth where Paleolithic cults were ancient people who shared a set of spiritual patterns and behavioral and belief patterns that were their own. And they also had behaviors and rituals that were like magical in their own right, magical thinking, or as described by Wikipedia as animism. Aries is the animal inside each and every one of us, meaning that there was not a religious property or modern day behavior that was adhered to. Really important. And this period in time, as I was saying before, coincides with the earliest man, the Homo Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens. And as ma many of you might know, BC, the English translation is before Christ, whereas AD is Anno Domini from Julian Gregorian calendar, uh, and it's a medieval Latin term, means in the year of the Lord. So we are talking about BC here. This is like back to the beginning of man and the beginnings of time. So 33,397 BC was a time of nomadic consciousness, hunters and gatherers. So we 
are on this earth at this time being awakened to those things within us that still are within our consciousness. It is a intense and exciting Aries New Moon that is occurring this week, April 7th. And that is exactly here um, on the East Coast at 6.40 a.m. And it highlights, um, you know, you saw it in the chart, the highlight of it, it is a a time of new beginnings. Um, With those four planets, there's an emphasis on, uh, of courage, of originality, of fire, and forward movement. This month is all about self empowerment. Lots of opportunities will be present for you to grow and break through old patterns as you implement and consciously lay out the welcome map for big shifts because as those unexpected developments start to happen, when you consciously invite the changes into your life in step with the present moment, you are so present in your path, on your path. Um, and, the, and the thing that's most important for you to realize, if you resist, you're going to have this continually not continuously knocking at your door. Whatever that experience is that you're going, oh no, run and hide. I don't want to see it. That's scary. Um, But I wanted to just recommend that you welcome these changes into your life. Check out and recognize the innovation that's present in your creative spark. There's a genius about this new moon. There is empowerment for a spiritual catharsis into the natural spiritual movements of our ancestors. And you'll be, you'll be guided to embrace your intuitive guidance, your gut feeling. So my recommendation is let go and trust. Break free from the old. And... Um, boy, my pages are upside down. Um, it, it, and, you know, the one of the most important things, as you heard me say earlier, is that this Aries new moon brings a spring, you know, it influences a spring in our step. It's, you know, in the springtime, we get excited, we want to get moving, we want to get outside. That's Aries, that's that energy. There's this emphasis on renewal of relationships, lots of possibilities to create something new, meaning that endings, new beginnings, it's okay. It's time for this movement to happen. And it's so interesting when I looked at that chart that I showed you earlier on the screen. I could flash that on there again, John. That would be great. Um, We can see that the sun, the moon, which are really luminaries, Uranus, Mars, and Saturn are all in fire signs. And so that means that there's a focus on shifts and breakthroughs. You'll be seeing things very differently. There's a major emphasis that is put on feeling a thrust of energy moving in, of moving into action, taking action, moving, doing something. And that will be with a purpose, with a fire in your heart. And so all month long of April, there's an emphasis on intimate one-on-one relationships and balancing those with time alone for yourself as well. Very, very, very important. April is about achieving a balanced change between two people and sharing through the heart. And so boundaries are important, but also that one-on-one and the balance and that fire of connecting with each other through the heart. Um, One of the things that I just want to point out before I bring Jay onto the show is that the sun and the moon in Aries are squaring Pluto also and uh, in that chart. And that symbolizes that there's this deep penetration into your subconscious and to get deeply and emotionally engaged in something. Tune into your heart and find love in anything that shows up in your life. The other thing that I want to point out real briefly was is that over the last three years, we've had Pluto and Uranus squaring each other, and it is ex- actually had made a square seven times. And so um, this square is being triggered by this new moon, which means that you're wrapping up 
business issues and themes that have been merged or have come into your life and that you've worked through and that you've um, overcome. And so things that have come in pa over the past three and a half years are being, con you know, you're leaving them behind. This new moon also triggers a strong need for rest. April 7th, make time for yourself to get some rest, whether it just be a couple minutes alone, quiet, serenity. And then one final thing, and then I'm going to invite Jay on the show, is there is a trine by this new moon to Saturn in Sagittarius. And what it means is that you can manifest you can manifest some beautiful things. And by that, I'm going to introduce Jay Harris from Pyramid Creations onto the show. Welcome, Jay. Thank you. Uh, so I'm so glad that Jay is here with us today. As you can see, uh, in, uh, this is something that yep. this is what Jay makes. That's a, that's a tetrahedron uh, organite piece. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's an older one too. I I think I'm up to like uh, 800 and some odd pieces now. Wow. So wow. Well, well. that, that's one of my. That one's beautiful because it had that nice big crystal in it. Yeah, yeah. it said you should take me home when I saw yeah. it. I think it was in Manchester here when yep. I bought this from you, and uh, I I absolutely love that piece. And um, we have uh, Jay has come here today to tell us about something really special, which is uh, a pyramid creation that he has designed. Yeah, um, I, I started making um, copper pyramids that you can actually um, get inside of it. And um, what I did is put an organite pyramid on top. And it's also, it's hard to see in the picture, but there's actually, I made an organite uh, pendulum that hangs inside. So you get the, the energy from the pyramid, and then you get the energy from the organite or organ pieces, and um, it's very powerful. And we have a picture of that, if we could put that on the screen so that we can, uh, uh, there it is. There's Jay. There you are, Jay, <laughs> yeah. inside your pendulum. Yeah, I was, I was relaxing, uh, kind of. Um, I, I couldn't, the, the energy was so strong that day that I had to get out. I, I, my wife took the pictures, and I, I said, I'm out of here. So when we do the show, I'm only limiting people to like 10, 10 minutes at first. And if somebody would like to come back um, afterwards when everybody's done, um, they're welcome to if they didn't feel they didn't get anything out of it. But it definitely, uh, if you're sensitive to any kind of energies, you're definitely going to feel, um, you'll feel it, believe me. <laughs> well, what Jay's talking about is April 23rd right. at the yard. Um, Jay's going to be there with his, it's six foot by eight foot, is that right? Yeah, it's, uh, well, uh, the true pyramid on the bottom uh, is eight feet, and it's like 8.6 inches, and then the angle is uh, shorter, it's six, almost seven feet. Wow. So it's the actual angle that these are supposed to be the actual angle of the, the pyramids in Egypt. Oh, wow. So it's very important. You see people, they always have it backwards. They always have the longer piece on the top, but it's supposed to be the longer piece on the bottom. And that way it takes the energy from Mother Earth and it projects it in the proper angle. They said it's very important for the angle to be correct. Right, right. So, can we put that on the screen again, John, so that uh, people can really get a good glimpse at that? Because, um, you know, uh, Jay was at last year in September at one of our fairs. He uh, had a smaller one. Right. And uh, he, we had it all feng shui <laughs> with plants. It was beautiful. We had him in the middle of the room, which really, the light was so bright in that room. Yeah. But I hmm. said, you know what? At one point, I climbed in there. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Everybody, you just moved all the plants out of the way, and Andrea started uh, something. Next thing you know, everybody was climbing in the thing. That was funny, but you know they, they were just laying on the floor. Yeah. So and uh, that was it, that was funny. Oh, it was, it was incredible. Fun. But tell them what you felt though. Well, I'll tell you what I felt. I'm laying on the floor with my dress on, and the the uh, pendulum started to, to move. Yeah. Yeah. And it was concentrated on my root chakra, and it was so intense. It it it, it has a it has a wisdom. Yes. To heal you. 
Yeah. And it, it really opened up my root chakra. And it, the, I, at, at one point, I had to get out because it was enough. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so. you have to listen to your higher self. Um, mm-hmm. I've learned um, the first time that I ever experienced being in the pyramid was one of my older ones that I made, which since I sold. And I, I got in it. It was the first time I ever got in it. And it was incredible, you know. Um, I can't explain the energy that I felt, but it, I just laid down and like literally just fell asleep. And obviously, uh, the work's still being done right. while you're in this state. And um, when I literally came to, my wife was standing there and saying, "It's raining out," and I didn't even know it was raining. It, wow. it was perfectly sunny, and so I was just such in a deep, deep uh, sleep that are being taught. A lesson or whatever was happening and then all of a sudden I realized that I was looking through my eyes but it was my higher self and I heard a voice literally with laughing and saying now do you believe and yeah. I went I guess so <laughs> for like three days I was literally like shaking my head because I wasn't looking through these eyes I was looking through my higher mm-hmm. self's eyes mm-hmm. and it was it was disturbing. I mean, but in in the whole time, I keep hearing, "Do you believe now?" You know, and and it was true. It really did happen, and and it 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 made me uh, even get uh, create b- bigger pieces and better pieces and more organite and more sacred geometry. It just snowballed from there, and then I also uh, started getting involved with. Uh, the angels uh it it really wasn't my choice at first you know i i was never an angel person and then um it's just grown you know since then uh doing shows um people people coming up and doing readings i've never even met before just coming up and grabbing me by the hand and saying can i talk to you for a minute and they were readers uh, some of them i've never seen ever again and they were so profound in my life um i just keep Keep doing the work I'm doing um, and keep moving forward. Um, I'm, I'm working on all these projects. I'm also working on an organite chamber that William Wright invented that you can get inside wow. and actually heal yourself. Uh, wow. So it'll have a seat. It'll, I'll have it so you can sit inside of it. And uh, I made uh, blocks of pyramids that have 72 pyramids on each block. So oh what I'm gonna do is I'll mount them on a, on a grid so people can come in. I'm gonna make it big eventually, but mm-hmm. I'll start off small and the people can go in one at a time and uh, actually heal themselves um, with the organite. Right. And right. what organite is, I don't know, I just wanna refresh people, yeah, uh, is that, uh, that now they're saying the Nazis and William Reich, William Reich uh, came off from Austria, and he came over here with um, von Braun and all those scientists um, with Germany when after the war, during the end of the war, they all came over here. And William Reich kept doing his work, and they called him a quack and everything else. And because he was actually healing people by using his chamber, and, and our government didn't want um, so, somebody healing people and not paying for pharmacy and not paying exactly. for doctors. So they basically took all his stuff and all his uh, his writings and burnt them. Oh. So I don't think many people know about that, but right. they actually did. And so I believe it. it's kind of uh, like I was reincarnated or maybe he, he's given me some help along the way. Um, with, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing his work, carrying it on. Right. It, that's what it seems like to me. Well, you know, the world is so much more open now. People are so much more aware that there's other things rather than just the traditional straightforward medic medicine Mm -hmm. we are a spirit a soul a mind and a body Mm -hmm. and i'll tell you what i felt when i was in jay's pyramid i was like wow this is awesome i felt like i was being i said i think i said when i came out i just got beamed up (laughs) you know (laughs) it definitely feels like that um that's why i'm only you know like i said i'm only limiting uh people for 10 minutes Mm -hmm. um some people might feel something, some people might not, but they'll feel it later. Definitely, um, they'll dr- have dreams. They'll, they have all sorts of things happen to them. Some people feel a, a, a euphoria. Some people, uh, you know, 
feel cleansed. I mean, it just does different things for different people. But the the pyramid itself is a healing tool um, that connects with Mother Earth. Yeah. And it pulls the the organ energy from the Earth, and that's what the pyramids were designed for. Um, is to help heal people and teach them about themselves. Right. And that's kind of what I'm doing with, with this pyramid, is inviting people to come in and give it a try. I mean, um, you know, I've had all sorts of people. Uh, my acupuncturist bought one for her backyard. Oh, so, wow. So, yeah, she bought one for her backyard, and I made her a, a pyramid for the top. Yeah. And I, I made a small pendulum. She wanted a pendulum. Yeah. So she has it in her backyard, and... She said the same thing at first. She had to do it and go in in increments and yeah. and build up to actually staying in it. Can for a you while. make me one to live in? <laughs> sure, sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's definitely uh, a very powerful tool, and I, I, you know, I just stress that it's not it's not a toy. You no, know? I know, yeah, I know, I know, you know that, but any of the yeah. people that might come to the show, right? Uh, yeah. You know, just expect that, you know, something very profound is going to happen to you. And um, right. like I said, it, it you well, might meet your higher self. You might feel, uh, get connected with the angels. Uh, it, it touches all those bases. Well, you know, the, 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 the event is planned astrologically. I plan mm -hmm. them, and this is going to be right on a full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is actually Archangel Michael's realm, yeah. and it's about shedding our skin from the past. Mm -hmm. It's about the magic and the alchemy that we all have within our reach. And yep. so I think there's going to be some magic there, as there's magic every day, but right. we, we have a collection of people that are all, you know, have that within their, their, their consciousness, and I mean, everybody does, but, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Jay, um, you've been doing this for quite a bit, quite yeah, some time. It's been about five and a half years now. Yeah. And I, I've made over 800 some odd pieces, and um, now I'm getting more on the art side of things because mm -hmm. I was I've been guided to do uh, arctahedrons with the twin um, violet flame. With I have real silver in them. Uh, it's just incredible i made another pendulum which took me three weeks to make uh, so i'm i'm going bigger uh and i've been guided to do that it's become more art mm -hmm. and it's it's very powerful and what i wanted to tell you about is archangel michael um came to me i had a a, a vivid dream um it was about three weeks ago it wasn't a dream it was an actual uh experience where he picked me up, and I just kept going up, 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 up in, into the stars. It was different than the stars we see. It's more. It was more like a an aqua dark blue with just stars everywhere. And he just kept bringing me up, up, up. And all of a sudden, I saw his wings wrap around me. Now, at the time, I didn't know it was Archangel Michael. Yeah. And he wrapped his his arms around his wings around me, and he like turned me and and put me face down in water. Wow. And then took me out and then put me back in the water. Mm -hmm. And then when I was looking in the water, there were stars everywhere. Oh. And then I came back into my body, and I just said, wow. I, I was sat up in bed, and I went, did that just happen? And uh, so I, I, it's really funny. Um, the angel connection started with Archangel Raphael. Then it went from to the to Metatron, Archangel Metatron, helping me with the sacred geometries. Mm -hmm. And then it, it went to Michael, Archangel. I call him by that name, Michael, because <laughs> I feel like I have a personal relationship with him at this yeah. point. And then, uh, you know, it just, it's grown. Um, now in my prayers, I just don't say, thank you, God, thank you, Jesus. Jesus came back into my life recently, too, mm -hmm. which... I me asked too. him, yeah, some, a reader told me, I said, why did Jesus come back into my life now? And she said, he was moving aside so that you could work with all these other angels yeah. and with all these other um, personal angels and guides in my higher self. Not only do we have our being as a spirit learning how to be a human being, where we also have a higher self, which you want to call your own angel or your higher self, and they're always there. All you have to do is ask them, and they will, they're there. Mm -hmm. And when you have trouble, when you want to pray, you, you 
talk to them. Um, and they are. Yeah, they are. yeah, they are there. I was never ever an angel person. Um, this all started like I don't know what three and a half years ago for me, and it's been an amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing journey. So well, well, you I know, just had to share that. You no, know, I'm I'm glad you did because uh, that those type of experiences are meant to be shared. Hmm. And we're meant, you know, I, I truly believe that, you know, all you have to do is say, you know, in those times of despair, walk through this with me and you will feel the strength. Yep. And, and, uh, and what you're feel doing right today, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do as well, but I, I can't wait to, I'm making a point. I'm not, I'm going to not be doing reading so I can come over and get <laughs> well, in. Well, you're always welcome in there. <laughs> I, you but, know, that's fine. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I just think uh, it's a powerful, as my PowerPoint teacher used to say, <laughs> it's a powerful tool, <laughs> and uh, I'm using it. So I, I, I feel uh, honored that, you know, that I'm able to even do this work. I never, ever dreamed that. I've told you this before, that I would even admit that I worked with angels so oh, yes. I appreciate you having me on the show namaste oh, I really appreciate yeah, absolutely, it absolutely you know Jay. bless well, the God in you so we're gonna we're gonna yeah. have to have Jay come back on yeah, the show sure. again I'd everyone to. I want to say thank you for yeah. watching and tuning in to turn to the stars and I want to wish you all well and remember turn to the stars and you'll find your answers there take good care I'll see you next time <laughs>